Gasol, a step back three for the tie. It's in with 7.6. Uh, Leonard fires right away and he hits it. Oh, brother. Kawhi Leonard gives him a two-point lead with six seconds to go. Here comes Irving. Drives on Thompson. Irving spins. Puts up the shot. It's good. Kyrie Irving with 3.4 remaining. You take a look at some of the clutch baskets from the last few months. I'm with two guys who were clutch in their day, and I'm clutch playing PlayStation. Uh, we look at some of those who have really gotten it done. Seems like the same teams. You, you heard that? You heard, yeah, no, I saw it. That's gotten around the way. Got around the way. You know, I hear bones when I play. That's the only reason I play. Uh, just because I feel like I'm supporting. Good in the clutch. Cavaliers, Thunder, Spurs. Grizz, what's wrong with this picture? We'll get to that in a second. What's right? You know Kyrie's got to be somewhere in this bones. Well, we're, we're talking about four teams here, Casey, that really can do it in very different ways. And I think that's what I wanted to, to hit on for viewers at home about how it is that coaches can put these lineups out there on the court in these moments and say, hey, go get the job done. So we will start in Cleveland, and we will start with the Cavs and their talent and the way that Coach Lou can turn the ball over to one of their premier players. Here's that shot from Christmas Day, Kyrie Irving. We showed that in the in the highlights before, but let's see what it is that happens here. Watch the little skip step from Kyrie. Obviously, he sees all the space here that's created, Rick, at the end of the game, but Klay Thompson does a great job. He doesn't give up the middle, which is the inside arrow. He pushes him to that little hash mark, but a great job by Shumpert on the back end. He takes Livingston out of the play, and there's the talent that we're talking about. Look, they got Kyrie. We know he's a big shot maker and a big shot taker. They have LeBron James, who we know is one of the best finishers in the game. And with the confidence that Kevin Love has this year and the way that he's played, probably an all-star in the Eastern Conference, that's where Cleveland can get you late-game execution. Sheer talent. Yeah, when you, yeah, talent with options uh, that the defense has to respect, right, which allows an individual like Kyrie, who has – offensive options within his own game to get to the spots on the floor that he wants to get to, to take the shots that he wants to take, not that the, di- the defense is dictating to him. Because they're so good, Casey, you, obviously there are teams that are going to say, we're going to send multiple defenders. These guys are all very capable passers to make the next play, but it's that talent to begin with that gets them in great positions to be clutch in three points or less games this year, Cleveland 3-0 and so far. We see clutch teams. We see clutch players. That's why you knew Oklahoma City guys was going to be involved with the kind of year that Russell Westbrook has had. I think people will be surprised that we put them in these, these clutch moments, but this year they've had the most uh, of any team in the league. They've had 12. They're 6-6 six and six in the game. So let's take a look at this play with Russell. First, we'll watch it live action, and then we'll watch uh, the, the great way to see any play like this. Watch the spacing on the back end. No surprise here. Who's not playing defense Rick Fox on the backside um he's got a nice big so, thick beard uh, yeah one of the MVP candidates on the other side <laughs> so hard in, in late game situations like this it's imperative for what Billy Donovan's asking Russell Westbrook to do we mentioned six and six is to be a decision maker that's the biggest question with OKC is what options do they go to Russell Westbrook has a tremendous amount of responsibility for Oklahoma City in the clutch moments to balance out his aggressive play where he can get the job done by himself or to make the right play. And that's what the second half of the season is going to be for OKC. You know, guys, you look at guys who are clutch offensively. If you think of one-player clutch offense and defense, you probably go Kawhi, if you ask me. And I think with the Spurs, and you know the system having played in it, you could be a different guy every time, but right. we've seen clutch throughout the course of this you make the, run. You make the best point, Casey. It is about the options. They have multiple players that they can do to go to in those moments. So when we talk San Antonio, we talk execution. You never know who's going to be in there. It could be Bertans at the end of the game. It could be Manu. It could be LaMarcus Aldridge. Let's take a look at this play. A lot of plays run this way late. The high split with the big guy at the free throw line. You'll see Danny Green cut off first, then Kawhi Leonard, Manu Ginobili shoot to the top. But what do they do? Here's the execution part of what Pop does. Options. There's a double screen on the right side. And look at the second screens by Patty Mills. That means the point guard would have to switch on to Leonard. The other screens by Aldridge, which means the center would have to switch on to the Leonard. Nobody does. They trail the play. Porter gets beat on the pick. And you see Kawhi Leonard knock it down. Now, the Spurs are 3-4 and four in games three points or less. But that's because Pop 
throws out all these different lineups. He tries all these options throughout the season. He gives guys a chance to gain confidence through the regular season, Rick, in those situations. Yeah, and the, and the beauty of that, that type of clutch is that it's collectively, you know, created. And, yeah. and that is something you can count on when, uh, uh, when, you're, when you need to get a great shot as opposed to relying on one individual to create that shot for you. They have players like that on the Spurs. Kawhi can get his own shot, but they choose to go the route of – Let's work together to get a shot. All right, let's be serious after those three. Because when you think clutch baskets, you think Grizzlies? Because this yeah. is grindhouse basketball. <laughs> I thought when I saw them on the list, we were just supporting that it's the National Civil Rights Weekend. And Grant, that's not the thing. They belong here. Why? Well, if you're talking support, they do have support, Casey. And it's at the defensive end of the floor. Number two in defensive efficiency. So when are talking the Grizzlies, they do it an entire different way. It's about shutting teams down multiple stops in a row so let's take a look at Memphis they're six and one in games decided by three points or less and this is how they're doing it Green does a great job of showing high on this screen roll and Tony Allen stays connected to Harden he denies the pass back to Ryan Anderson Marcus Gasol knows this is a great player in Harden that could shoot the three he steps up high hands gets a tipped pass the deflection leads to great offense Houston does not get back. Mike Conley takes advantage. They go and score. So we mentioned the four teams doing it different ways. Talent with Cleveland. Execution with the San Antonio Spurs. The defense of the Memphis Grizzlies is where they get the job done. And that is a collective as well, Rick. Yeah, and that's the type of uh, play, play that leads to championships. Both ends of clutch. Both offensively and defensively. 